Hello everybody, Internet Terry back again with another video. Today's video, guys, is, is about Fedra's uh, loss against uh, Andrei Rublev yesterday in Cincinnati Masters in the second round or third round, call it what you want, because Fedra has a buy in the first round. This is Fedra's most early exist this year, guys. He, in all the other tournaments that Fedra has played, he has gone deeper than this. In actual opening, he was in the fourth round. In... Um, in Dubai, he won the title. In Indian Wells, he was in the final. In Miami, he won. Then he played Madrid. He played quarterfinals there. Then he played Rome. He, he went to the quarterfinals in Rome. Um, withdraw there in Rome. Um, after he won two matches in Rome in the same day. Then he won Halle, like we all remember. He was in French Open semi-finals, then he was, of course, then that heartbreaking loss in Wimbledon one month ago. Like we all Federer fans cannot forget that easy. And this now is his most early exist this year. And guys, to be quite honest with you, my friends, this is not a tremendous surprise. Of course, it's, it is a little surprise. Come on, it is Federer after all, even though he's 38 years old nowadays. Uh, but... Uh, he, he, he was playing against Andre Rublev, a 21-year-old, very talented guy we, who we have seen before, but he has been out of, out of competition for quite a while because of injury. But we all know that he did a deep run in 2017, US Open, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. He went out in the quarterfinals there, if, if I'm not mistaken, against Rafael Nadal. And he... And, and early this year, this last couple of months, he has been played. He has played really good tennis. He, he beat Dominic, Dominic Thiem in Hamburg, and he played a final in Hamburg last month, uh, and lost, I, I believe, against Gabeshvili in the final in Hamburg, if I'm not mistaken. And in, and here in Cincinnati, he has beaten uh, uh, Stan Wawrinka before he defeated Roger Federer. So he has defeated now two Swiss players back to back. So this is was this was not a crazy surprise. A little surprise, yes, but to say that this was a huge upset, no, this was not a huge upset, my friends. Uh, this this next generous will start defeating Roger Federer more and more, especially Federer. They will beat Federer more than what than what will the, than what they will defeat Nadal and Djokovic because Federer is older. Uh, so uh, like we saw earlier this year in Arsenal Open, Tsitsipas defeated Federer there. And now the next gen player who is defeating Federer, it is Andre Rublev, who is 20, who is 21 years old, I believe. So Rublev has a big game, my friends. He has a huge forehand. He has a solid backhand. He ha he is really good from the ground. He is really good and solid. He is really good ball striker. He moves great. He has a great serve. Solid solid returns. Doesn't do a lot of errors. I think he did only six unforced errors against Federer. That is a really, really good number. Only six, guys. And Federer, he, he committed 19 unforced errors. And when you see that kind of stats, you, 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 you can't win. You, you really can't win. And Federer was pretty, uh, he, he was pretty weak on the net, net approaches as well. I think he won only 37% of his net approaches. That is not much. 30, 37%. And under Rublev, he won over 90%. Not that, he, not that Andrei Rublev went to the net so much because he, 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 he didn't need to, to do that. He, I think Andrei Rublev won 5 of 6 net approaches, something like that. 5 or 6 net approaches, if I'm not mistaken. 5 or 6 or 6 or 7, something like that. He was at least over 90% in the net approaches. And he was better than Federer from the, from, from the baseline. He was hammering Federer's backhand. That is the way to beat Federer, guys. Because we all know that Federer's Achilles heel, is, it is his backhand. And it is his returns. If you want to beat Federer, just hammer his backhand. Hammer his backhand. Hammer his backhand. And you will defeat him. And which Andrew Rublev did. Andrew Rublev played a perfect match. From the baseline, with, from the net... With, with his game plan, everything. He took time away from Federer. Guys, take time away from a tennis player and he is in big trouble. That is the, that, that is the way how to, de how to defeat tennis players. Take time away from them. And Andrei Rublev did exactly that. Federer didn't do his best match. Am I surprised? Not crazy much. Uh, because, let's face it guys, it is not normal to go deep in every tournament 
when you're this this old as a tennis player because 38 years old it is it is a high number guys it is not a high number to live life a, a regular life no but to play tennis on this a professional high level as 38 years old it is a high number Feather to go deep what he has done already this year and, and in previous years he goes deep in almost in every single tournament that is that is impressive so to, to see him go out this early, he only won one match in Cincinnati, the first round. We, we, we will see this more and more ha happening, guys. We, we, we will really see that because up, up and coming guys are, are, are starting to defeat him. They will defeat him like Rublev, Tsitsipas, team. They will defeat him more and more. And of course, his big rivals like Nadal and Djokovic, of course. Djokovic, he, he, he defeats Feder more or less all the time nowadays. The Federer has not defeated Djokovic, I think, since 2015, in four years' time, if we count all the matches and not only the slams. So, am I surprised? Not crazy much, to be quite honest, my friends. Uh, am I... Was I expecting this? No, I was not expecting this. I thought that Federer would might go through Andrei Rublev because Andrei Rublev, he has been under the radar. It, it has not been so much talk about him because he has been out of injury. Like I said, he had, after that breakthrough in 2017 US Open when he played quarterfinals, then he did some great results after that as well in some little tournaments and things like that. And he was as high in the ranking, he was as high as as highest as number 31 in his career. I, I think back in 2018, February, something like that. But then he had his injury, his back was hurting. He was out of competition for over six or seven months, almost one year. So, uh, but we all we all have known that he has big potential. When when we when we have spoken about the next genus, we have we at least me have named Rublev, Tsitsipas, Felix Aliassim. And, and, and to some extent, uh, Chang as well. But Chang, he, he just disappeared after that semi-finals appearance in Australia Open 2018. So, I am not crazy surprised that Andrew Rublev defeated Federer. I am not crazy surprised that Federer ex uh, lost this early because we will see this more early exist from Federer. Because it is time. It is not normal for a 38 years old to to go deep in every single tournament. It is not normal. That that's why I, I am, I believe that Federer has won his last Grand Slam title. I really do, guys. Because, man, when he didn't want that Wimbledon, when he was that close, how on earth will he win in the future? How on earth when he will be seven matches away and and when he will be over over. 200, 300 points away of winning a Grand Slam title. He, he, he needs to win seven matches. He, he needs to win over uh, over 20 sets, I, I believe. 20, he needs to win 21 sets, if I'm not mistaken, to win a Grand Slam title. Uh, so... Uh, it is a big task of Federer. It, was, it is a big task of Federer to win another Grand Slam title this year. It really is, guys. It really is. Because he has... Like I said, he was so close at Wimbledon a month ago. He was so close. And I, 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 am, I am fearing, as a Federer fan, I really am fearing that that was his last shot to win, to, to add another Grand Slam. I am fearing that it, that was his last shot. I am really fearing that. Uh, because... Players, guys, let's face it, players doesn't are not afraid as Feder as they are against Djokovic and Nadal. They are not, guys, because they are feeling that, yeah, we know he's an icon, we know he's a legend, we know that he is one of the greatest tennis players of all time. We know that he is the Grand Slam leader with 20, 20 Grand Slam titles at the moment. But they go to the court and they believe that they can beat him. Because, let's face it, a 21 years old like Rublev against a 38 years old like Federer it, it, it should not be a shock that he defeats him. It should not be. Because Rublev is a, he's faster, he's fresher, he's, he's younger. Come on. And Feder, guys, Feder is not bad. He's still good. He's still good. He's going deep on the, on the tournament. Like I said, he has, been, he, has gone, he has went deep in all the tournaments this year besides this tournament here in Cincinnati. 
he is not as good as before. Especially two shots that I feel they are not good. They are not as good as before. It is his serve. It is his forehand. Not that he's hitting them particularly bad, but he's not hitting them as good as before. Especially his serve. He's still serving pretty high number. Pretty solid numbers. I think he served 65% first serves against Rublev, but he's not hitting his spots as well as he, as he did before. He's not doing as as aces as he did before, and his forehand is not as as deadly uh, lethal like it used to be. It is not, guys. It, you can see with you with your eyes. It is not. He is hitting his forehand still pretty solid, still pretty good, but not as lethal. Not as deadly that shot is not penetrating the court like it used to do it is not guys and Fedres ha has those weaknesses like he's like he doesn't do damage with his backhand he's he, most times he slices Fedres backhand is most time a, a defensive shot it is a defensive shot if players just do a great game plan against Federer. You 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 don't you don't need even to do a, you don't need even to be a top ten player in the world. You can be a top thirty, top forty, top fifty player in the world. Just penet just hammer Federer's backhand, and you will get a lot of points from that side. Just hammer Federer's backhand, and Federer. And Fedor's returns, guys, they are not the greatest in the world. They are not. He just break Andre Rublev's serve one time, only one time, uh, and Rublev break Federer's serve three times. So. All in all, a great performance from Andrei Rublev. Like I said, only six unforced errors. That is a great number. Feder did 19 unforced errors. Uh, Rublev was much better than Feder from the baseline. Rublev was much much better than Feder from from the net. Like Feder said after the match, a clean performance from Rublev, both both on offensive and both on the defensive. He was everywhere, uh, and that was pretty much a great uh, summary from Feder about the match. Rublev was much better than Federer. Uh, am I crazy surprised that Rublev won? Not. Am I a little surprised? Yes. Crazy surprised? No. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and bye-bye.